Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading for November 2022. This is a general love reading for Leo, so feel free to take with you whatever messages resonate and leave behind for others whatever does not. We are going to go through these initial tarot cards, do some clarifications, and close off with some oracle cards. The influencing energy, the card at the bottom of the deck, we have the page of pentacles. So here there is a sense of learning something new, a new opportunity to appreciate the value of something. So Leo, in this first column, we look at what to embrace for a more fulfilling love life. You have Benton, creative luck. You also have the moon, the ten of pentacles, and the four of swords. In this second column, we have stag spirit, leadership. This represents what will intensify your passion? You have Four of Cups, the Lovers, and King of Swords. In this third column, we take a peek at how love will surprise you. You have this Heartbreak card. You also have the Three of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Ace of Pentacles. So here, this more fulfilling love life you can have through creative luck. So in terms of, you know, synchronicities, coincidences, things that just kind of, you know, happen to spiral in a good way, that is kind of um, embracing that is how you can have a more fulfilling love life. And it may be um, looking at your past and how things have kind of come about, uh, you know, that concept of when one door closes, another door opens. You have the moon here, and this is a card of intuitions, dreams, emotions, and here with this, uh, you know, creative look concept, it is a bit of magic at play. You have the Ten of Pentacles, and so there it's a sense of like, not only having material wealth and sharing that with the people that you care about. It is a representation of the common day-to-day -day routines even that we have. And kind of seeing the connections, the uh, synchronicities and things that are pleasant surprises in your everyday life will help you to have a more fulfilling love life. And here with the Four of Swords, there is a sense of taking taking a break from, you know, mental energy of making things happen and kind of just allowing your your creative luck and that magic in your everyday life just to manifest. So, Leo, let's take a look at the moon here. You have Ace of Cups. So here, this magic allows for opportunities for love to kind of, you know, flow to you. And for it to also, you know, flow to others from you. 
Let's look at the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Four of Swords again. So maybe even having some time for yourself, um, taking a break from whatever problems you feel you need to solve or, um, you know, disputes that you might have, things that are just men mentally challenging for you, um, perhaps taking a, a nap, uh, a day away for yourself just to kind of get in touch with your intuition, your inner magic can um, help to percolate the creative luck. You have the Hierophant here, and that is a card of, you know, learning the lessons of being connected to something greater than yourself, but also seeing how, uh, how you fit in with others around you. Um, I'm taking the Ten of Pentacles here to be a, a sense of community and maybe certain ways that you operate, uh, traditional ways that you operate um, in your day-to-day -day life or with the people that surround you, the people that you find is part of your community. Um, it might help you to kind of, you know, see what you are, see what like the routine is, like the structure of what is just your day-to-day -day life, and then being able to pick up on that more magical aspect of abundance and connection that kind of pops up you know, being able to see those signs. So here, what will intensify your passion, you have this stag spirit leadership. So it might be you being a leader because, you know, Leo and leadership, that kind of goes hand in hand. You have the king of swords here. And this is another type of leader. This could be you if there is a, uh, usually something where you have to solve problems, you have to be the decision maker, you are the person who is doing the communications. So if that is you, then what will intensify your passions is actually stepping up to that. Um, and if that King of Swords is not you, then this King of Swords might be the one to intensify your passions. You have the Four of Cups here, and this kind of indicates not really being aware of your surrounding or being excited by your environment and your surroundings. But here again, um, this creative luck, being able to withdraw a little bit from your community and then kind of go back and see what is the boring day-to-day -day routine versus the true magic that will help you to kind of be more aware of what's going on around you and more excited about what is being offered. And you have this lover's card. So here, this could make a, a real change to your your life, to your love life here. So let's take a look at the Four of Cups. You have the Temperance card. So Leo, it may be that the Temperance card is about balance. It's about having patience, letting things kind of uh, go the middle of the road. It might seem kind of boring for some people, but it really allows for some harmony and balance in your life. And with the, the Four of Cups here, it might seem that, you know, harmony and balance, that might be something that is 
needed for you to start being more aware of things. So with these four of swords over here, taking some time to clear your mind, to pull away from certain ideas or thought processes that you are kind of normally faced with and that time for yourself, that sense of, um, you know, balance here allows for healing. And here in this column, how love will surprise you, you have this heartbreak. So it might be that you, you need some healing. So let's take a look at the King of Swords here. You have the Eight of Pentacles. So it seems that this could be something that is work-related. If this King of Swords is not you, then someone that you become aware of through work or you work with. And if this King of Swords is you, then it's kind of taking a leadership uh, position at work, embracing that role and kind of uh, allowing yourself to be uh, dedicated to, to that. So with the lovers, you have the Ten of Wands. So to some degree, Leo, it seems that um, this leadership, how your passion can be intensified, it's almost as if there are things that will require your attention that you will need to to handle in life but this will allow you to really be passionate about life a bit more passionate about life and give you more of a boost to handle the day-to-day -day, plus to really have um, this love connection with someone and have that love connection be something that you can also invest your energy and time in. So how love will surprise you, you have this heartbreak. So it may be that you've had a heartbreak in the past that you haven't really fully recovered from, or you might have some heartbreak show up for you, you know, this month or soon after this month, but it is a surprise in terms of love because you have this eight of pentacles. It indicates something new is being offered to you. With this three of cups, this indicates, uh, you know, social relationships, friendships, Perhaps the heartbreak has to do with a friend situation as opposed to a romance situation. But this High Priestess card indicates that you should kind of trust your intuition on, on this one. So let's take a look at the Three of Cups up there. You have the Ten of Swords. Some type of hitting rock bottom, maybe some type of betrayal when it comes to a friend or, you know, maybe dating someone and they are interested in someone else. But here, let's take a look at this high priestess. You have the two of pentacles. It almost seems, Leo, that if this is a relationship that is coming to an end, um, it seems that you may have been juggling that idea anyway. And here it may be that uh, the reason why you pulled the trigger or someone pulled the trigger might not be something to write home about, something that's ideal, but it's almost a, a sense of relief here. So let's take a look at this Ace of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Seven of Wands. So it seems that with the Seven of Wands, it's someone who is kind of backed into a corner a little bit and having to stand their ground. 
but it's almost as this heartbreak is allowing you to get off of that ledge without having to, you know, fight for this relationship. And it'll allow you to, to welcome in something new for yourself, something, something new that you want to, to nurture. And if we go back to this page of pentacles, the influencing energy at the bottom of the deck, it's a sense that you are really um, learning a lot of lessons in love this month and learning what aspects of love you want to nurture and honor and what aspects you want to just let go and move on from. So, Leo, I am going to close off with some oracle cards about how to uncover more love surprises. This month, you have temperance again, so it's kind of begging you to uh, do some moderation, take middle of the road, um, do some some healing, some some quiet time possibly, and patience, and you have play. So there will be time for play very soon, but for now, it's kind of allow things to um, to percolate a bit, just to marinate in some things and not necessarily uh, do a lot of of mental mental work and then kind of come out of that a little bit refreshed and focused about what it is that you want so that you can deal with whatever heartbreak this is whatever betrayal this is, but, you know, quickly rebound from that and start playing again. So, Leo, I'm hoping this reading provides a helpful perspective of love for you in November. To uncover more about your month, check out readings for your sun, moon, and rising signs. We'll see you next time. Take care.